Hello, St. Peter's. Welcome back for week four already of our library time video series. Can you believe we're in week four of school already? Today is the last day of September. Tomorrow we start a whole new month of October. Wait till you see what we have in store for October. But for now, we're going to end September with a very silly story and a kind of a really fun, cute little craft we're going to do at the end. So gather everyone around. Do you have all your friends? Let's see. We have our friends. Ralph is here, Magic Monkey, Daisy, and our Pig of Joy with her jar of joy tucked behind her. And we're ready to have some fun. How about you? Okay, let's get ready for library. Let's turn up our ears so we're ready to listen. Turn off our mouths so we don't make a sound. Mm -hmm. Put your hands quietly in your lap. Take a nice big deep breath. <sighs> now we're ready for our story. So I picked this one just because I thought it was silly. And this is a kind of week, it gets a little bit gloomy as we're changing into fall. I thought we could use a little bit of a laugh. I hope it makes you laugh. You ready to see what it is? Even the cover makes me laugh. Here it is. Look at those crazy chickens. <laughs> it's called Big Chickens. Big Chickens by Leslie Helikowski and illustrated by Henry Cole. Let's get ready to see what crazy adventures these chickens have. All right, here we go. One day, four big chickens peeked out the coop window and saw a wolf sneak into the farmyard. The chickens plucked, flocked, and rocked. They knocked into themselves and each other until one by one they tumbled out of the coop. The door slammed shut and the chickens ran into the woods to hide. Look at them, they're panicking. Wah! That probably was very noisy as well, don't you think? So they ran to the woods. Here they are. After a while, it became very quiet. I'm afraid to go home, said one chicken. Oh, said the, chick said the others. Me too. Me three. Me four. So four cautious, careful, cowardly chicken chickens walked deeper into the woods until... Look, they look really nervous. What's going to happen? They came to a deep ditch. Oh boy. I'm afraid to jump, said one chicken. Oh, said the others. Me too. Me three. Me four. What if we can't jump that far? What if we fall in the ditch? What if we get sucked into the mud? The chickens tutted, putted, and flutted. They butted into themselves and each other one by one. Until, what do you think's gonna happen? They're scared of that ditch. They fell into the ditch. Oh no. So they were already scared of the woods. And they kept going. They were scared of the ditch and now they fell in. Oh boy. There they go. The chickens landed smack in the mud. Feet flew out from under and bottoms flipped over. Bodies plucked up and mud sucked down. Legs sank in and necks, necks stretched out. Until... Hmm... Their chicken feet grabbed some roots and they pulled themselves out of the ditch. Whew, I'm glad they're safe. Four dirty chickens came to a cow pasture. I'm afraid of cows, said one chicken. Oh, said the others. Me too. Me three. Me four. What if the cows chase us? 
What if we get poked with their horns? What if we step in a cow patty? The chickens squeaked, squirmed, and squealed. They squawked at themselves and each other one by one until... What happens next? They bumped into the cows. Oh no. Look at that silly picture. The chickens ran and the cows chased. The cows stomped down and the chickens fluttered up. Horns dipped under and legs leaped over. Tongues hung out. Feet squished in until, oh boy, this is getting crazy. Their chicken wings flapped and they flopped over the fence to the other side. Phew, safe again. Four dusty chickens came to a lake. I am afraid of the water, said one chicken. Oh, said the others. Me too, me three, me four. What if the boat sinks? What if we fall in the lake? What if we hit an iceberg? The chickens sputtered, shuddered, and muttered. They fluttered into themselves and one by one until what's going to happen? They don't want to go in the boat. I think they're going to land in the boat, don't you? They, the boat tipped and one by one, they fell out. Oh no, it's even worse. The chickens landed in the lake with a splash. The boat went down and their toes pointed up, heads bobbed under and waves swept over, breath sucked in, water squirted out. Until, do you think they're gonna make it out of this one? I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if chickens can swim. Oh, they grabbed onto a log, phew, and their chicken legs kicked all the way to shore. Four drippy chickens spied a cave. I'm afraid of caves, said one chicken. Oh, said the others, me too, me three, me four. What if we can't see in there? What if we wake up some bats? What if we fall into a bottomless pit? The four chickens flurried, hurried, and worried. They scurried into themselves and each other until one by one. Where are they going to go, do you think? Probably the cave. They stumbled into the cave. Oh my, there are some bats in there. The chickens bumped into walls. Rocks rolled over and toes crunched under. Bats flew down and chickens swale, swatted up. Dark closed in. Eyes bulge out. <gasps> look at how scared they look. Until... I don't know what could happen next. Oh my goodness. Their chicken ears heard a noise in back of the cave and they grew very quiet. Four dazed chickens listened to a long, low growl. I'm afraid of growls said one chicken. Oh, said the others. Me too. Me three. Me four. What if it's a big animal? What if it's a big hairy animal? What if it's a big hairy chicken jumping animal? Something crawled from the back of the cave. It was big. It was hairy. It looked at the chickens and licked its lips. What do you think it is? 
Maybe. Let's find out. It's a wolf! The chickens picked, pecked, and pocked. They ruffled, puffled, and shuffled. They shrieked, squeaked, and freaked. Until... Oh no, are they okay? <gasps> the wolf ran out of the cave. Ha! They made enough noise that it scared the wolf away. They didn't expect that, did they? Their chicken hearts soared. I am a big, brave chicken, said one of the chickens. Oh, said the others. Me too. Me three. Me four. We have chicken power. We have chicken brains. We have chicken guts. Look how proud they are. They did it. They defeated the wolf. Yes, they all agreed. We are very big chickens. Four dirty, dusty, drippy, dazed, daring chickens strutted all the way home. When you strut, that's like you're walking so proudly because they were afraid of a lot of things, weren't they? Every time they were afraid of something, that's the thing that happened to them. They were afraid to cross the ditch, but they fell in the ditch and did they end up being okay? They sure did. They were afraid of being in the boat that they were gonna fall in the lake. Did they fall in the lake? They did, but were they okay? Yes, and even in the dark, scary cave, they ran into the wolf that they were running away from to start with, and they were able to scare that wolf away. They should be very proud because they faced all of their fears. So the next time you're afraid to do something, think of these chickens. Are you afraid to try riding your bike without the training wheels? It can be scary, but maybe you could try it. What's the worst that could happen? Maybe you'll fall down, but you can get right back up. The next time you're afraid to try something new, what if you're afraid to try the new dinner that somebody made for you? Because you're not sure if you're gonna like it. They would have tasted it. See if they like it. That's the only way you can find out. Anytime you're afraid, remember these big chickens and you'll remember. Would you like to make a reminder for yourself about these big chickens? How would you like to make your own big chicken? Isn't he cute? I think he's pretty cute. All you need is some paper and a paper plate. Now, if you don't have a paper plate, don't worry. Just get some paper and cut out a big circle, okay? So if you don't have a paper plate, cut out your very own circle. And then we're just gonna fold it in half. Whether it's a plate or a circle, fold it in half. Now, don't squish it here so much. You're gonna pinch it around so that the edges match up. Now, in order to get this to stay closed, there are a couple of ways that you could match. You could secure it. You could use glue. Glue is tricky on things like this because you really have to hold it for a long time to get it to stick and to stay. I'm going to use pieces of tape. So I'm just going to tape it and fold it over like that. You could use a stapler and you could use glue, but you're gonna wanna use pieces of tape that aren't too big, because if they're too long, it's hard to manage, because you gotta kinda of keep this pinched close while you're getting your tape. Maybe even someone could help you, and they could hold it pinched for you while you put the tape on. So we're gonna tape it all the way to the other side. That's our first step, because that gets our chicken body, right? Now, if you have a different color paper plate, that's okay. Maybe you have something left over from your birthday party. You can make a pink chicken, a green chicken, a blue chicken. If you're using paper, you can use any color that you like. The chickens in our story were not all the same color. They were brown and they were gray and they were darker brown. Look at that. Light brown, dark brown, and gray. And this one on the back is white. 
so you could make your chicken any color you want. All right, we have it all taped down, but he's still kind of poofy. See, can you tell it's poofed up? Because I didn't squish it flat. You can hear the air. Hear that? Okay, so that's our chicken body. Ta-da! Next, we need to make the little things. See how they have those little things on their head? The crown and the tail. We're going to make a crown and a tail. You know what's really great about this? It's what I like to call free form. So I just made a couple wavies and I cut them out. You don't need a pattern. You don't need to measure in any special way. You're just going to make a couple. So I have this piece of red. Again, if you don't have red, you can use any color you want. You can color a piece of white paper if you want it to be a different color. So don't worry about that, right? So I'm gonna stick it on my board here because this helps me keep it flat when I hold it up for you, but you can just put it flat on your table. So I'm gonna make two of them. On my short side, like this, I'm just gonna kinda give myself a guide to help me cut it out. So I'm gonna draw a big smile or a big U like that. That gives me the start. And then I'm gonna make just like three, kinda like if you were making hands or feet or teeth. Yours can be different. Yours can be shaped a little differently. I'm gonna make mine like that. And then for the tail, it's gonna be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna turn my paper this way and I'm gonna make a little bit of a wider smile. And I'm still gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna make them a little more curvy and crazy so they're not all the same. That's all I did, that's it. Now, you can be more precise if you wanna measure things out. I don't think it's necessary because then I'm gonna cut them out and even once you cut them out and you look at them on your chicken, if you want them to be a little bit of a different size or shape, you can always trim it up, right? You could always make a new one. You could always glue two of them on, right? So let's see, this is my top one for his, by his face. So let's see, that looks pretty good, right? It's a good size, almost looks like a crown. So on this one, I could put a piece of tape. If you have a glue stick, you could put some glue. So I'm gonna tape it down to secure it on the back. And then I'm gonna take my glue stick, see where this is, and I'm just gonna make sure, because the tape only holds it on the one side. I'm gonna put glue right under it. So my glue stick holds the top and my tape is holding the bottom to make sure it stays in place. Okay, that's on the back side. Good. And then remember I, cut, I did this crazy wavy shape. You can even have more than three. Like I did three wavy shapes. You could do more than three. You could just make it one. You can make it two, you can make it five. It's up to you. What I like about this, it kind of reminds me of a cloud. You know how all clouds are different shapes and they look different? You can't really be wrong. Now, does this one look exactly like this one that I did before? No, it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. It's a little different and I like it. Now let's see if it's a good size. I'd say so. Do we need to trim any of that off? What do you think? You think this is a little bit long? All right, that's a little bit long. So I'm just gonna go and round it off a little bit. See, and then we made it more like how we wanted it to look. So on the back, we're taping it to the back. We flip it around. I'm just gonna hold it there, get my piece of tape to anchor it down, right? And then it kind of flops down. So I'm gonna put my glue from my glue stick right on the plate where it's going to flap up. There it is. And it's okay if you push it a little bit because it's gotta get stuck to the plate. So that's okay. All right, so we have our crown and we have our tail. What do we think we, think we need next? A nose, right? A beak. So I, this is actually a scrap piece of paper you could use as a bookmark. It just came from something else that I had and it had extra that I had to trim off. So I saved it. Now there's two things you can do to make a triangle beak. There's two ways I would do it. One, I could just cut it and go chomp chomp. But if you don't feel secure in just cutting it, let's draw it, okay? So if you start here at the corner, you're gonna draw a diagonal line, and then you're gonna start at this corner 
and draw a diagonal line, and where they meet is where we end, okay? That makes our beak. Then all we have to do, so if you didn't draw the lines, that's okay, you could just go snip up this way, snip up this way, fell down. We've got a beak. Now what do you say we just put a little glue on the flat side of the triangle, see that? The glue's on the flat side of the triangle and here the smaller one is my head. Oops, see it's already flipping down. I'm going to glue that beak right on the edge, okay? That's sticking down pretty well. Now my tail wants to flop down, so I'm gonna give it another piece of tape on the back. That's okay, that's how you fix it. When you're making things, sometimes you have to fix it. Now he's missing an eye. I know some people have those googly eyes that you can stick on. I don't have one of those. So guess what? We're gonna draw the eye. So first I'm gonna draw a circle for his eye, right? It's a little bit wavy because it's in where the ridges are. And then I'm gonna draw, color in a smaller circle for his pupil. There you go. Now you could put eyelashes on if you want. You could make him a polka dotted chicken, whatever you'd like. But he's missing something still that this one has, a wing. Look closely at that wing. What shape does that look like? That's right. It kind of looks like a heart, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's a heart without a point, right? Because we don't need, his wing would not have a point on the end. So, you take a piece of paper, I chose brown for my wing, you can choose any color you want, and fold it in half. Maybe any size you want, not too big because it's gotta fit, but we can always trim that down as well. Now remember, here's how we make a heart. On the folded edge, see where it's folded? You're gonna start on the folded edge and you're going to start a little bit down, okay? And we're gonna start right about there. We're gonna start a little bit down and then you're gonna curve up, around and kind of slide down, but we wanna end here, not, if we're making a real heart with a point, you would end at the corner, but we want it to have a flat bottom, so we're just gonna end it over there. So I came up, around, and I went down to the bottom. Let's cut that out and see how it looks. And remember, it was on the folded side. If you cut it on the non-folded side, you'll just have two halves and you'll have to tape them together. All right, so we're gonna cut out our heart right around our tracing. We're gonna open it up. Look at that, looks like a heart. With a flat bottom, that's okay because that is our wing. We need our, our wing. Now let's put it on there. Ooh, that looks kind of big, doesn't it? Should we keep it that big or do we want it a little bit smaller? Well, I kind of like it, but I'm gonna show you. So then if you need to trim it down a little bit, that's okay. Now this time when you trim it, you trim from the open side. So I am just going to trim a little bit of off all the way around. Let's open it up. Still looks like a heart. Does it look a little bit smaller this time? Yeah, I think that fits his body a little better, don't you? So we're gonna stick it right in the middle of the body. Let's put some glue on it. Okay, got my glue on there. We're gonna stick it right in the middle of his body. And there he is. There is our very own big chicken that can remind you that you can be brave, even if you're a little bit scared like this chicken. Okay. Don't forget, if you want to decorate it, go ahead and decorate it. Color it up. I'd love to see what it looks like. So if you make a chicken, send me a picture. That would be fun. I like these chickens. Now I have two. Look, they could be sisters, two chicken friends. All right. These chickens are going to remind me to be brave when I'm not feeling so brave. We all have those times. I'm going to put them back here with our friends while we spread some joy. What do you say? Want to spread some joy? So do I.
I feel like a good joy spreading day. What about you, Joy? She agrees. Let's see what we can find. Oh, this is a long one. Oh, I love this one. And you can do this even if you're wearing a mask. And I'm going to tell you how. It says, smile at everyone you see. Smile at everyone you see. Even if you're wearing a mask, they could tell if you're smiling because you can see it in your eyes. So watch my eyes when I'm not smiling. I'll cover this. My mask is over on the desk. So I'm not smiling right now. My eyes don't look very smiley, do they? But watch what happens when I smile. Do you see my eyes get sparkly? And they go up a little bit and my eyebrows go up and people can tell that you're smiling, even if they can't see. Am I smiling now? Nope. Am I smiling now? Nope. Am I smiling now? Yes, you guessed it. Whether you're wearing a mask because you're out and about and you have to take care of some things, you can still smile at people. It will make their day. Whether you're at home and you don't need to wear your mask, you can smile at everyone there. Smiling always cheers people up, even if they're feeling a little bit down or a little bit sad. So that's how we're going to spread our joy today. Smile at everyone we meet. Okay, boys and girls, that's our story for today. I hope you enjoyed my big chickens just as much as I did. And go spread your joy with your smile. We'll be back next week with another storybook adventure. Or you can tune in on Friday to find out what happens in our chapter book of Clementine. All right, until then, keep spreading your joy.